And in today's Get Dirty segment, we're continuing our zeroscaping tips. Today, we learn how planning and design can help the homeowner save money and water in the long run. Diane Moses with the Board of Water Supply joins us with more this morning. Good Hi, morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you for coming back. Okay, so we're, of course, going through our tips. Now we're talking about planning. And I know you say this saves us money in the long run, but is it expensive to start out? Not necessarily. Okay. If you already have a landscape that you really enjoy, you don't need to change much of it. Sherry taught you last time what plants to select and mm -hmm. how to select them. So go through your yard. You may be surprised you already have a ton of drought tolerant plants. Don't need to do anything. If you do move all your thirsty ones into one area and start putting the newer, um, less thirsty ones in other spaces, water thirsty twice a week, water the less thirsty one time a week to two, once every two weeks. Okay, good yeah, to know. Easy. So when you're starting your plan, mm -hmm. where do you begin? You begin with a theme, then you draw it up and you break it down. By theme, I mean you pick what you want. If you live in a techie house, you might want a real modern landscape. Um, you can go with xeric edibles. People forget that there's drought tolerant edibles. And I have some um, herbs here to prove that they're drought tolerant. The spiky leaves, mint, parsley, all drought tolerant. Oh, interesting. And then we were talking about this one too. Very drought yeah, tolerant. Can you talk is, about that one? This is a talansia, and really it doesn't grow on anything. You can kind of glue it to a rock or a basket uh -huh. and just spritz it every two to three weeks, maybe. I absolutely love there's that. There's all kinds of plants that you don't need to take too much care of. Which is perfect for me. Uh -huh. And I never even heard of those. So super cool. Okay, so when you're getting started, um, how does saving, how does the having a plant save you time and money? Okay, what, when, when you do the plant and you break it down, um, you draw it up so that you don't forget what you're doing and you have it to look back on when you're feeling overwhelmed. And by breaking it down is how you save money. So you have this huge landscape you're redoing. And if you break it down into sections, if you make a mistake, it'll cost you less mm -hmm. because your mistake will be tiny. Um, basically, that's how you save money and time. Okay. It's doing it in segments. In segments. And so mm -hmm. can you give an example of how you could avoid a mistake? Okay. If you're going to make a mistake and you're doing it in a segment, you're going to buy a plant. Let's say you, when you plant, you put seven plants together in a group. And if you were to take all that seven and put it in the ground and it's not the right space, you just lost seven plants. Mm. So by taking one plant of everything in your plant and putting it in your landscape where you want it to go, you can watch it for three to four weeks. Okay. And what are we looking at on the screen right here? Oh, that's how you do a plan. And that's done with words. So simple. So your plans don't need to be, your plans don't need to be really technical. You can kind of play with it. Look through magazines, get ideas. That was something we implemented at our garden. We called it Betty's Place. That's so cool. So you can so, literally just map it out. Yeah, kind of have, yeah. Have a literal right, image right, of a plan right. too. So you know what's going where, and we tr you try it out by putting your plants in those spots for a few weeks. And if it doesn't look good at the end of three weeks, take it and move it somewhere else. And that's a perfect mm -hmm. way to then to save, save money. money because then you're not having <laughs> right. to get rid of all right. new. Uh, have to get rid right. of all those plants and get right. all new ones. If, Great tips. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, everybody, start your planning. I'm excited <laughs> to start my zero escape. We've been talking. I have a few new plants that I've <laughs> added to my repertoire, and so far they're doing they're doing okay. Great. I might need to move one of them. There, there you go. Thank you Thanks. so much, Diane, for joining us. Thank you for having us. Of course. Mm -hmm.